if this is the beginning of a new Cold War, it's one of those moments in journalism where you're trying to look out from the centre of the wheel and see where the spokes take you. And there are some obvious ones. We'll see a bigger British army. We may see a resumption of something like the British army on the Rhine, British army on the Danube, thousands of British troops being posted to Eastern Europe. We may get something more significant. Uh, we just had Peter Hitchin sitting where you were. He said this is bigger than... He was talking than... complete rubbish, by well, the way. You can tell... He's still out there. You I can know. go and tell him. Um, he was saying this is bigger than 9-11. And I just wonder in terms of the psychology of the thing, the it... national psychology of the thing. Yeah. You know, I was making the point to him, he didn't agree with me, that anybody under 45 doesn't get how... Traumatic is not the right word, but unnerving it was growing up under the shadow of the nuclear mushroom. And now that's maybe the, the year we we're moving into again, is it? Well, if, if, you are, if you are under 45, under 50, you've had a phenomenal run, right? There's nobody been coming to attack you. There has been no conscription. There is no sense of, do you remember, there were Kremlin watchers who used to try and kind of tell you what somebody was thinking and how dangerous it was going to be to either you, your family, your company or your country. There was none of all that. You lived in complete peace. Oh, uh, I've got a flat. I'm going to buy a house. It's all going rather well. That moment has changed and has changed for good. And it's damn good that Germany, right? Now, we've been fighting the rearming of Germany for very good reasons. Even they've grown up and said, we don't need your gas. We are going to stand up against you. And this, that plus SWIFT, has been a massive, massive shock as the whole world says, do your worst. And so he says, yeah, I'm going to do my worst.